Hello everybody. I have a special edition for you today. I have in my hands the new Supervision Rock Mica watercolor set. Now besides for these just looking beautiful online, they have mica in them and they're also super granulating. So when I seen these, I thought I had to have them for whatever reason. Plus they came in four different beautiful sets. Now the set I got was the ocean. I think there was like a supernova, a mermaid, and maybe a flower one. Um, I almost got the flower set. Those, that looked pretty nice too. But this is the one I got. But these looks like the Schmincke granulating watercolors, like on crack uh, with sparklies in it. So of course I had to pick myself up a set. Now, I got these on Amazon. Uh, I think the price was about $78 when I looked last. So if you want some, you might want to grab it while it's hot because I have a feeling these are going to go quickly. Anyway, let's get into unboxing these beautiful watercolors and see what they can do. And now for the time everybody is waiting for. Let's see how beautiful these watercolors are. So here's the box for the ocean set and they have little swatches on the back for you. But of course we will be making our own. And that's what they look like in the box. Those are very pretty tubes. Now what I'm going to do next is use their swatches and I'm going to put them in an order that I think makes sense to me and then we're going to swatch these out. Okay, here we go. I am doing my test swatches my Fabriano watercolor paper. I'm really enjoying this paper, by the way. I'm also testing out these neat little brushes I got from Amazon. Uh, I just thought they looked neat, and I don't believe they were too expensive. If I can find the link for these, I'll put it down below. But yeah, you're going to see these today. Okay, and as I go along, I'm also going to start filling up my little palette over here. Um, just to do it all at once. And I'll actually have another little swatch card in this palette. But I like my granulating watercolors on a bigger swatch so you can really see how they work and perform. All right, enough of that. Let's get into this. Now it's time to let these dry. Um, I just wanted to show you, we have a lot of different textures. This was rather stiff and so was this pink. So we've got this color here 
and this color here were more of this, the less fluid ones of the bunch. But yeah, we have a lot of different things going on here, and I'm pretty excited for these to dry so we can talk about them. See you in a bit. Okay, so we're all dry. Let's take a peek at some things. Uh, first, I just want to review what some of the Schmitka super granulating colors I have, what these look like comparative to the new ones. And I also did my little swatch card for my palette. Um, this is Arches. So we did, we had some different effects depending on how much pigment I put down. But let's look at some of these. You can see the mica in there. So this first one, the mica, the shimmery effect is a, a, a coppery gold. And I can see purple and a little bit of peach. 322 has got a greener gold with a cooler purple, bluish color going on here. Beautiful. Actually, I should probably show the little swatches as I go along, too. This one's quite beautiful. Also, we've got a teal mica shimmer with a lighter purple and a tealish blue. This one was interesting. I didn't really get too much granulation until there was just barely any pigment and there was lots of water. Uh, I don't see too many sparkles in this one. But let's see. Yeah, here's the smaller swatch. This one doesn't have a lot of sparkle to it. Maybe some uh, like baby blue. But it's like a grayish baby blue and pink going on here. This one was just very fun. I'm on the little swatch, it's right here. A lot going on in here. There's pigment, looks teal. Mica's teal, and we have like a rose red. All just beautiful. This one didn't have too much interesting granulation, but it's a pretty shimmer. And this one, it's like that typical chrome like beetle going on here. The shimmer is like green and then we've got this red rusty granulation going on. Now you can really see it in the little swatch here. Look at that. And at first you couldn't see any of the reddish brick color. It was all just green. Um, Actually that's this color right here. This one was absolutely beautiful. It was like a tealish color. You've got greens, teal mica. This one was really pretty. It's like an olivey green with silver mica. And this last one right here is actually, I think, very gorgeous. It's a bronze mica. And then we have like some dark grays, maybe some browns. That's what it looks like thinned out a little bit. I mean, these are so, they're, these are just wonderful. The thing is, they're almost too pretty to know what to do with them. All right, so now that I have a grip on how pretty these are, um, I'm going to do a little sample piece on some black paper. I'm only expecting to see the mica shimmers. You're not going to see some of this pretty granulation on top of black paper. So I'm going to test it out on black just so you can see what's going on, and then I'll do something else on white paper so you can get the full effect of these watercolors. But these are so neat. I think they're almost limiting at the same time. I'm, I'm glad I own them. Now I just don't know what to do with them. But let's do some spontaneous art.
Right, my butterfly nebula is complete. Some things you just gotta put under a mat for it to look right. So I'll put a picture of this butterfly nebula right here. Um, I've never painted anything like this before, so I thought it turned out pretty good, and it was really fun. This was a great experience working with these watercolors. And I went online and I seen that there weren't the best reviews of, of these, and I'm not sure why. But, you know, I'm not an everyday watercolor person, but I thought they worked just fine, um, especially on the black. Now, of course, the swatches on white were completely different than how it looks on black. All right, you're not going to see any of those pretty granulating pigments on your black paper. But if you're working on it on white, it looks absolutely beautiful. I went ahead and laminated my swatches because it already got a drop of something on it already. So I went ahead and did that. But yeah, the granulation in these I think are really fun with the mica falling down on your cold press watercolor paper, making interesting textures, I thought was great. So yeah, I'm going to end the video here. I don't want to get it too long. If you are interested in seeing something on white paper, let me know down below. If I get enough people interested, I will surely do a video next with these beautiful mica granulating pigments on white paper. And just in case anybody's interested, here's the little palette I made with, I've got some of my other granulating colors in here, but now I have enough to fill a palette and that's what we got going on here. I know some people are interested. So this is my homemade granulating palette. Very pretty. I think it goes with this very well. Okay, so there's my quick review of the Supervision Ocean Paradise palette. Um, I'm going to give it two thumbs up. I thought they were really fun to work with and very unique. I think this was a very nice experience. If you're into any of these things, if, even just if you like the grit, the granulating watercolors, I think you're going to like this set. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for joining me today. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It really helps me grow. I would appreciate it. And I will see everyone in my next video. Bye.